comes my trailer. It's pulling in up there. Come back here with my trailer. I've literally not planned this. I've just come across it. Do we drive the Ranger up it? You've got a back load now. Oh well, mate, we've got we're, a back load. We're on. Get a chain on it. <laughs> Look at that. I want to keep it so it's down all the time though. How can we do that? This is my electric motor. motor. Disconnect Disconnect it. that with it down. Yes. Some cutters. Oh, cutters? cutters? Uh, that will come off very easily just without the cable tie attached. Yeah, anyway, I'll get out your way. Thanks for having a look at that for me. I'll get Sean on it. It's like a pigsty. Christ. It. New motor and it's treated like that. I hope you're going to treat your lorry better. Film me coming off. There you go, mate. Trucker Tim and an air freshener. Yes. Nice to meet you. See you, mate. Look after my trailer. We'll try. I've just seen my trailer. Are you aware? Harrison Tractors. Oh, well, I thought it was coming back, but right. you've rented it out for another day. Yeah, yeah another, another week. Another week. Why are your steps out? Yes. Now this is what I want to talk to you about. I think it looks better with them out. What do you think? I don't know. It looks more beefy. I just cut the wire while the doors open, and they'll stay down. How have you made them stay like that now? Well, the doors open. I thought we could put them on a switch, but where is the switch? I couldn't see a switch in here. Put it on here, on the door lock. <sighs> There's a switch in the back there. Ah. See, look. Yeah. Ah, look. Look. I right, watch this. Yeah. Broke it now. But if we could get that on a switch, well, when I'm going off road, I can just flick the switch and they'll go in out of the way. What do you think, Sean? Do you think I'll just rip them off? Yeah, I think you will. Yeah, have a look under there, Sean. Can you see the motor? Yeah. There's a plug on the top of it. Yeah. I bet you get a warning on the dash. Why do you come up with these brilliant ideas? I for? don't know. When I get out sometimes and leave the door open. I think I stand back and I go. Oh. He's going in. Oh, look at him. I need a pair of side cars, mate. Oh. Right. Oh, sounds familiar, really. Uh -huh. There we go. Do you like that? You want to do the other side now? Get on the there, Sean. <laughs> Just a, is that dog poo? Oh, oh. On the wrong wire. Touch your toes. How's the king getting on? Has that got all my marker boards on yet and stuff? No, because it's not been here. It's been out on higher, isn't it? Here we go. Now, let's see if we've got a warning light. I'll have to land it there and plug them all back in. Oh. Let's see how long they last, Sean, yeah? I need to get a switch on them. That's a job for Ant, I think. Ant could do that. Okay, let's go. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. I love it. Looks so much more beefy. You're the man for wiring. Come with me. Like your new van design, by the way, Baz. What do you notice different about my vehicle? It's a bit high. No. Uh, nothing then. Nothing. The steps are out. Did I tell you that they won't last long? I've unplugged them. That's why they're out then. Well, Sean did this morning. And oh, I've, I've no, come no, no. here to ask you, could you wire them on a switch for me? The motors are under there. I just put a switch in the dash. A better idea would be, right? Just, just to lift it out. When you open the door, they come out. And when you shut the door, yeah, they come out. Yeah, there we go. That's a good idea. We wire up like that. They could, no, we want them out all the time Why? when the doors, because it looks better. Mm. Can we get it? Can we get that done? I mean, yeah, but not until probably next year. Ready? What do we have here? Look at this! A sink! Yeah, there's a shower head in the lay by. I thought of this idea first, really. With my bath and my shower. The toilet. That sink. Vanity mirror. Water tank there. Huh. There's no water in it. I don't know, I probably shouldn't put it on then. Well, that's handy, that is, for the trampers. Right I'm booked in then for the Ranger switch. <clears throat> yeah. Good man. So now I'm getting all of the black off my high bar. <laughs> These are my perimeter lights. Well, there's no lights in there, but if you ask me, this just seems wrong, but. <laughs> Go, that's that one done. Now I'm not filming much of what I'm doing next door because it's basically just rubbing down. I've literally got a bit of sandpaper, just rubbing everything. Here's the truck. She sits in here. 
we have got so much i mean even these need doing gray still just a trumpet laying there that needs painting white with blue in the middle cab is looking really good though we're basically prepping everything else like the perimeter kit the wind kit, the side skirts. There's so much to do and time is ticking away. We've got less than, as you're watching this video, less than two weeks and there's still loads to do. It's gonna be really touch and go for this truck. It's gonna be at Truck Fest. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to find out. But if it's not at Peterborough, it'll be at the next show whenever that is. I'm very, very anxious. I mean, this crate here is all mine. Still needs to be prepped. Bumpers and everything in here. So you rejoin me at the airfield and the trailer needs two new tires on the back. So I've got ATC tire management out and we're just looking around all the tires on the airfield course. Try and find one that is um, gonna be okay. What does this one look like, mate? Got a few oh. cords. Oh, I'm not worried about cord. So we've got our two tires for the trailer. Scooping out the water here. There we go. Get that in the back. Got that one off. Look at that. That is proper down to the wire, isn't it? <laughs> this one's not much better, is it? Probably worse, oh, actually. Yeah. It's, it's worse. <laughs> it's probably worse. <laughs> There's a word for this one as well. Yeah. <laughs> There's a plane coming. Oh my god. There's a plane coming in. Yep, coming in now. Let's give her a clear out. She don't get to go very fast. She poodles around all day, so it's good to give her a clear out. Let's go. There we go, Trucker Tim Experience Day obstacle tires now fitted to the trailer. And again, a massive shout out to ATC Tire Management for sorting that out for me. Cheers, guys. So after all that excitement at the airfield going down the runway, we're now on our way to the yard to meet up with the chap that's won the Trucker Tim A-frame. Inder's here, he has won the Trucker Tim A-frame. So you can actually put this on your truck, in there with Trucker Tim on it and everything. Yeah. Do you have a V8? No. You've got something for me as well, I hear. Yeah. Da -da. A Turkish whistle. Some bumpers. But these won't actually fit my truck, but I know somebody who would like these. So these are deep bumpers, because Inda done the same thing as me and thought we could take our shallow bumpers off and buy some deep bumpers and they'd bolt straight on, but they don't. It's quite a substantial weight and we've got to get it in your car. He's <laughs> heavier than, I mean. Yeah. Fits perfectly. Make sure you send us some pictures when it's all on. Yeah. And lit up so I can post them on the my Instagram bar. and stuff like that. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, bye, A frame. <laughs> Done. Thank you very much, Inda. No worries. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. What is uh, this? That's my Turkish whistle. Look. Oh. It does wolf whistles. It goes. Uh, and who are you intending on wolf whistling? You. When I drive past you. Hmm. What's not work like that, is it? Need a compressor. Can't listen to you. <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna go on the R series. M3. Still here. I think it's got a puncture there. That looks a bit soft to me. <sighs> Is your lorry flow gonna match this one? Yeah. I haven't driven this since we had it ceramic coated. It was a long time ago. So it really does could do with a drive really, but I'm not taking it out today. Humidity's not right. That's not yeah. a thing. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh, look at it. Why are you in I do forget how good she looks. Look, Kellen. She's nice, isn't she? Mm. Unleash the mighty V8. <laughs> oh, sorry. You can't say you don't like that, Helen. Well, it doesn't do it for me, if I'm honest, but if it's your thing, then it's your thing, isn't it? Definitely my thing. So you're going to kiss it then? Get a cold start. Yes! Yeah, it'll slowly get quieter now, Helen, as the cold start finishes. Oh, there we go. Cold start. 
don't start complete. There is nothing wrong with this car here. Oh, that's about the only vehicle you own that has nothing yeah, wrong with it. Probably, yeah. Better nick than the Cougar, isn't it? Let's see what's going on with this tyre. There is no pressure in there. Ah! So let's pump that back up. Let's see how long it lasts before it goes down. Looks like I might have to take that to be repaired. Well, I'm going to move backwards and forwards outside here. I need you to see if there's anything in the tyre. Get on your hands and knees and see if there's anything in there. Get on my hands and knees? Yes. Yeah. Oh my word. Careful, careful, careful. You're getting a bit close to me. You see? and steady. Oh, I hate this car. Keep going. I can't see anything. So, the M3 has now met the Ranger. Was that all we were doing here? Ah. Just come to have a look at it. So we've driven all this way yeah. for five minutes? <laughs> Just have a look at that tyre, pump it up, get the fluids moving, and then we'll put it back, back under the cover for the next three or four months. What on earth are you doing now? Well, get a picture. Bye. Apparently the car has a more expensive blanket than we do. We gotta look after your assets. So, you now find me at Data Shredder's yard, where we used to work, where the whole journey started for Trucker Tim. I've asked a question to Data Shredder's, which they're currently thinking about, but what do you guys think? Should I buy GL12 WUM for the channel? Hang on, that might need addressing if we get it. We've done many, many miles in this truck. If you're an OG viewer, you would know that. Oh, the passenger door's open. We're back in GL12. This is where it all started for me, and I just think we should get it on the channel, and Trucker Tim should own it. So we'd have four trucks on the channel to play with, and we'd have two Volvos and two Scanias. This is a 500 as well. So yeah, if you think we should buy this, and this should join the channel make sure you hit the like button on this video leave a comment as well letting me know and yeah hit the subscribe button to find out whether in the next few weeks this becomes mine exciting times looks like work has started on kyle's vehicle back axles dropped i don't know what he's doing with it Are you trying to fix it or what are you doing with that car out there oh, that's been stripped you're selling parts stripped and selling i thought we were fixing it for yeah, youtube video yeah I get time. Yeah. Let me know in the comments right. or send me an email. So Pretty much. We'll sort you out. All available. I might be buying another lorry. Oh no. Oh mate. What is it? Volvo. Oh now we're talking. A reliable one, yeah. Well, what is it? My one I had a data show is GL12. Oh no. That'd be one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your version 3, yeah, yeah version 500 3 as well. 500. What are you gonna do with that? Oh, park it up somewhere. Yeah, we can do it with another yard show. No, no, trailers to no. With. But it's the first truck I had when I started all this malarkey with so YouTube you and buy TikTok. It back? Yeah, I'm gonna buy it back and have it on the channel. I think it'd be nice. Cool. What it, do you then. think? Have you had a price yet? No. Uh, do we need anything out of here for it? I don't know, do you? Probably. Let's see. Uh, oh, is it? Still not, is it, mate? Because I ain't got uh, the trailer here, mate. No, it's because you keep renting it out, mate. <laughs> So we're now on our way over to Transtech because my new visor has arrived for my R series. So let's head over there and check it out. Transtech! I think what we'll do, we'll chuck it in the back of the pickup and take it to Darren because it needs painting. My visor! Here it is. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Through you come. Oh no. Now then, Baz. I got gifted a Turkish whistle for my truck. Put it in the bin. I mean, if you want to faff around trying to get the adapter thing to make that work, you can, but... You wouldn't bother. I'm not bothering. You're not bothering. No. <laughs> it's the end of that. Ian's lorry in. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. little, little sound system. There's my visor, look. Sorry, I won't keep you too long, mate. You already have. You think? Yes, yeah, it's amazing, that. The look of it's painted. What colour are you painting it? Uh, white. So it's going to look the same as that, then? We've got five of these. Like those, look, on Ian's. See them? Look at them. They go in there. Wow. 
You like that, don't you? Yeah, it blows my mind. Are you getting a beefy flap for your van that I just yeah. used? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you having on it? It's a weather dress. Grumpy sounds. Who kicked your kennel? <laughs> so you don't like my Turkish whistle. You're not going to fit that for me. You kind of like my visor. I mean, yeah. Mm. What are you amazing. doing to this one then, anyway? Just want to tell people? Uh, Hearing trucking sounds? I, um, I drove this. Did you see the video? Uh, do you want me to say yes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw the video, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A sub and an amp and a few other bits. We might be going to Ireland, won't we, Ant? Yep. Well, I am anyway. Yeah, I'm coming too. Mm. Is that alright? Uh, you know. I mean. Yep. Yeah. A good, good little trip out, though. Yeah, it will, yeah. With my camera. Hmm. Getting in the way. Yep. Yeah. So that's happening. On you go then, carry on. But yeah, if you live in Ireland, me and Ant are coming soon. Irish sounds. Might have to get a trailer for the... For the <laughs> trailer? <laughs> then you'll need another beefy flat for that. <laughs> a trailer? What for? People get all the stock in it. Are we taking a caravan with us? I'm well, not sleeping in the back of the van with you. I've got the visor in the back of the Ranger. I just need something to stop it flying out and the wind getting under it. Cable ties it is. I've got to tie it down somehow, haven't I? So I'm going to cable tie it to my lashing point down here. Look at that. I even thought about my pain. Mm. After I scratched it, it's all scratched. <laughs> Please rec put this out your back window when you go. Yeah, I will. I've got this as well for the bottom, for the bumper, for the two more bits there. Where are you going now? To work. And here are my trumpets. So let's go and take this lot to Darren. He'll be over the moon. On to the R series. Look what I have in my boot. Your haircut, are you? Yeah, the haircut. How was your holiday, Ian? Hot. Hot. Trumpets. Mm. Feet bumpers. What else we got here? The Scania bags. I like Scania bags. Ah, there's something in there for you. Oh, well, not Go on. <laughs> no. Go on. Dig around. Oh. There it is. We could do that now if you like. I'm are you busy? Yes. Well, you've got, you've got lines here for yeah, colour. Yeah, I've look. got lines for colour there. That's like an MEN visor. Oh, not lines. Joy! Oh. You all. Oh. Look. Yeah, like uh, no. Oh yes. Got that. Got a fitting kit. Hang on a minute. Where's the uh, goes here for the air supply? Uh, I don't need it on air, do I? Oh, so you're not having these work just for show? Uh, yes. Here we have that goes on there like that. Another little job done. I'm going to DA my trumpets, my two new ones and my older ones. Nicely scratches. It's scratching it, isn't it? All of it. Scratching all of it. The last thing you want is it's paint falling off of all these little edges. In here, we've got John prepping the uh, visor already. Oh, that's, yeah. I just told John how much this was. And he was shocked. Doing lots of repairs today. I filled all these blind marks. Yeah. With fiberglass. Ah, you see, I would have filled that. I'd have thought, oh, look, imperfection. That's part of the design. That's part of the Volvo design. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got a Volvo, MAN, and everything. Are you just do repairs. The side skirt's done? Or they just yes, need filler just in need there? need one skimmer filler now. Just a skimmer filler. That split. That was all bales, wasn't it? Yeah, look at that. The spat's gone. Yeah, that's gone. The spat's gone. Put a new bit in here. Look at that. You just added a bit in there. Yeah. That's repaired. Fix your big hole. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see there's a hive of activity two weeks before Truck Fest. We haven't got two weeks now. No, we haven't now, no, actually. So these holes have been filled in, then we're going to bond the spats to that in there. These are going black. What's going black? This. Black. 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 I'm happy now, Darren. I feel a bit more confident now. How do you feel? <laughs> God. 